getting tired of the green, but I guess that kind of makes my logo uh, pointless now, but that's okay. This week I'm going to talk about marriage. Marriage is kind of bogus. Again, growing up in the church, I was always taught that I have to get a husband, a pretty good job, and some kids. But the older I get and the more I learn about how marriage actually is and how it became to be an institution, I'm kind of like, screw that. Studies show that males who are married are healthier and happier than other males that have never been married or are divorced. On the other hand, studies have shown that women who are married are less healthy, less happy than their never married or divorced counterparts. Basically this is telling us that men benefit from marriage more than women do. The interesting thing is that women will say that they're more happy when they're married than when they're not married. And why is that? We're told that having children is what should fulfill our lives. We feel as though we have to live up to the cultural expectations of us being nurturing. The whole idea of a family is kind of patriarchal. Mom is meant to work until she has a child, then she's gonna bear the child, go on maternity leave for a year, take care of the husband. Women are getting much more in a marriage than men are, which explains why men are happier and why they're healthier when they have a woman to take care of them. Kind of scary though when you start to think about anything critically, it gets a little uh, weird. I always thought that I wanted to be a mom when I was little. My favorite toys were little baby dolls. The older I get and the more I learn and the more I look at other people's marriages and families, the more I'm like, this is kind of up. About a year ago, my best friend told me that she doesn't really want to get married and at first I was kind of like in shock and I was like, second year of university came around and I took sociology of gender. The more you learn about the differences in power between men and women, the more you realize almost everything in society brings women below men. And what's the greatest way to keep women in their place? Make them think that it was their idea. If your whole life you're taught that you should wait for a prince to come and save you, <clears throat> talking to you, Disney, or if you go to church and you're taught that God has a perfect man for you, you're gonna grow up thinking that that's your biggest goal in life. Hey, I wanna do other stuff. I'm a little young to be deciding whether or not I actually wanna get married, but I'm kind of on the fence right now. And the more I think about why I wanna get married, the more I realize that it was never really my own idea. And the more I think about being married, the more I'm kinda like, ugh. I'm a strong, independent woman who don't need no man, and so are you. And the same goes for men. You don't need a hot wife to complete you. You should be happy on your own. That's all I gotta say this week. Uh, clean my room today. It's not fully clean, but at least you can see the floor and the top of his desk. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think about marriage in the comments below, and I'll see you next Friday.